Hello, this is Jack Pelican here again with Group B with Denmark who poured off a great draw with a fantastic performance against Holland in the first game of this group and Portugal of course who played Germany in that monumental 3-0 win in which they pretty much destroyed the Germans. If Portugal win this game, of course they're through on six points with a game to go. We've already seen one of the co-hosts, Poland, go through from Group A. And Portugal will be looking from another for an other, another inspirational performance from Nani on the right wing there. Cristiano Ronaldo starts on the left. Hugo Almeida now finds Raul Morales. Plays it forward. The Denmark win the ball is Simon Kjer. Nicholas Bentner now. Holds up the ball on the right wing. Plays it back to Jakobsen. Back to Bentner. They just keep in possession. Trying to make the mark on the game early on. They know Portugal are one of the favourites of this group, so they need to keep playing. Bentner there. This is a great save by Rui Patricio, but Bentner still has the ball on the edge of the area. He looks all right at it. But he goes out for a goal kick. And the resulting goal kick. Denmark have won the ball back. Christian Eriksen, one of the most influential players in this Denmark side. But he's given it away. Miguel Veloso. Great ball over the top there. Ronaldo could be going through here. Can he get the shot away? He turns inside. Fancy Armada. A great save by Thomas Sorensen. In the Denmark goal, we can just see a great turn there, a great trip by Ronaldo, and great reactions by Thomas Sorensen to tip it wide. Mutino with the corner, crosses it in, but Simon Kjaer's there. Nani looks forward to Almeida, can he turn his defender? Yes, he can. He finds Nani in the area, can he get his shot away? Great defending. Thomas Sorensen can collect the ball. Bent enough for Denmark. Can he mount an attack? It's given away to Quantra. Ronaldo now. Can he take on his man? He turns. Looks inside to Jean Moutinho. Back to Ronaldo. Scholling. Another great save by Thomas Sorensen. And that's a dangerous ball across the Denmark box, but they've got away with it. Jao Pereira with the throw, finds Ron Morales, but he couldn't win the header. Christian Eriksen now picks up the loose ball, finds Nicholas Bentner, out wide to Crown Deli. Bentner inside to Eriksen. What can he create? He finds Fist. And that's a free kick on the edge of the area in a dangerous position. It's nearly a penalty, it was right on the edge of the area there. Eriksen with the shot, it's blocked by the wall. Here's Bentner. Looks out wide, there's Fist. And William Christ has scored on the 36th minute. And Denmark could be on for a shot now. They've got a lot of the game to play out. It's still the first half, but they're in a great position here. Portugal, who was so dominant against Germany, have let it slip and Denmark have taken the lead. Portugal with an attack. Can they pull it back before half-time? Veloso wins the corner. And it'll be Jean Moutinho to take the corner. He crosses it in. There's Almeida! But it's at wider left hand post. Ronaldo on the left wing here. Finds Jean Moutinho. Back to Ronaldo. Great one too there. Tracked well by the defence. They've got two men on him. They know he's one of their main threats in the Portuguese team. He had a quiet game against Germany. That cross got the header away, but didn't threaten the Denmark keeper Thomas Sonson. There's the half time whistle. Could we have a shock on the cards? And could Denmark be top in the group? It's Denmark 1, Portugal nil at half time. Seaman Paulson finds the goal scorer Kvist to Crown Daly on the left wing. He's picked it back up after a challenge. Ericsson finds Shane. 
Christian Paulson now, the substitute, pulls it back to Shane. Gets a shot away, but it's cleared away. And Veloso, can he mount, mount a break here? Mount a counter attack. Nani finds Ron Morales on the right wing. He's bursting for the great free ball there to Krasma. And he's made a real hash of that. He should have scored, but he's hit wide of Sorensen's left-hand post. And Sorensen has the chance to clear the danger here for, for Denmark. Bruno Alves now picks up the ball from the goal kick from Sorensen. Nani, Portugal is starting to show the dominance that they've had in that Germany game in the first game of this group is starting to come back into this game there's cause for offside there Jean Moutinho has the ball, he gets a shot away and again, another great save by Thomas Sorensen he's been one of the better players of the Denmark team Bruno Alves tries to get a shot away, there's Kresme there's a scramble in the area and Paulson can get it clear for Denmark, he's relieved the danger it's late on here, Sorensen clears it away, Portugal with a Veloso, a great tackle there can Denmark hold on, Portugal have had a dominance towards the end of this game, there's a header Sorensen, he should have kept hold of it but it's cleared away for a throw in pressure is still on, Portugal can still get an equaliser here throw in from João Pereira, it's flicked on but there's Sorensen and he'll just run down the clock now and surely Denmark have got a hold out here it's cleared away but it's headed back this game is still not over, it's cleared away and it is now the full time whistle gone is gone and we've got a real shock on our hands here Denmark have gone top of the group on four points William Christ with a goal in the 36th minute it's Denmark 1, Portugal 0 and the Denmark players and the fans are celebrating but they must remember that it's not over yet they're not through to the quarterfinals yet but they are top of the group however Holland and Germany have to play each other join Peter Longshorts for Germany against Holland next on FSOC Sports